So folks, here's the scoop on this deal. As a chosen one, God will take people from your life so fast your little head will spin. You might catch yourself way back when in a point where there were so many people around you, so many things happening. And as we know with time, everything changed, brother. With time, everything changed. People die, people are born, friends are lost, females are lost. We get lost sometimes, things happen with time. The person you used to talk to on a daily or weekly basis get lost sometimes. So, the reason why chosen ones get stuck in this rut of having no friends, no family, nothing, like literally nothing, nobody that close, for the most part it's just you, you probably have a million acquaintances, or you have none either, I don't know. God strips people from your life for a reason. God puts you in places and positions for a reason. When I look back, I used to be around a lot of people, bro, all the time. Around friends all the time. I would still be capable of doing it to this day. But I don't force things in life. That's not how I roll. And if you're anything like me and you listen to your higher self, you do the things you know you're supposed to do. That is God. Guiding you the right way. So many people are not going the right way, bro. They want to do what they feel like doing. Like being surrounded by people. Surrounded by friends. Or their family or something like this because they don't want to not fit in. They want to fit in. They, they do what they feel like doing. I don't feel like being alone. I don't feel like being in this uncomfortable position. I don't feel like going against the grain. But what if that was the right thing to do? And what if God was trying to make you go that way? Because that was your life's purpose. Whatever your, life, whatever your life's purpose is, you were supposed to be going that way, but you didn't because you didn't feel like doing it. It's not that you don't have friends or family because you're not likable, you're not charismatic, you're not a people's person. I'm a people's person, but I also have a purpose. I have to live my purpose. That comes first before anything else. Friends for me, family for me, all those types of things for me come after purpose. It comes after purpose, bro. You're going to grow up around people. Family, family's everything. Family's important. And it's not that it's not. But how, how many people are you around that tells you how important purpose is in life? Not that many. Because <laughs> not that many people are even living their own purpose. Most people in the world today are straight up struggling, bro. They're not living their purpose, so they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you to live your purpose. They're not going to tell you to fulfill what God has for you because they're not fulfilling what God had for them. They ain't doing it now. They, they ain't never been doing it. So they'll tell you this BS concept, family, everything, friends are everything. All these things are everything because that, that's their codependent ways of being. And like I said, it's not that family ain't important. We're not going to sit here and pretend like family or friends ain't important at all. But it's not everything. The second, especially today, you place family, friends, and everything else on a pedestal as if it's everything. Wait till you lose them, bro. What the fuck are you going to do then? Because I've been in that position. Because that's what God wanted. 
And when you lose those things, it's a tough thing to go through when you have to regroup yourself, face life by yourself with no friends by your side. Nobody you can really trust or depend on by your side. That's when you start to thrive, is when you lose those things. So specifically, this is why chosen ones have no friends, no family, no nothing. Because you're supposed to thrive, brothers and sisters. You're supposed to thrive. And sometimes things have to fall apart in order for things to come back together five times, ten times more solid than it's ever been in your entire life. Ever. You're going to meet better people better friends to the point where they become like family. You're going to be in a better position. It all comes together. You're going to get a better girl. You're going to get a better man. Things are going to come together on God's timing because you let go. You let go of holding on to this codependency of being stuck with old people in old situations thinking in old ways, you didn't let yourself grow. You didn't let yourself come crashing down and burn like a phoenix and, and be reborn again. I've done this shit. Some people's even like, they, they've done it a little bit, but you didn't fully kill that part of yourself. You have to do that. So you can grow. Change your whole identity. Everything about your old self has to come to a halt. You start to live and breathe a completely different life. You start to think for yourself and not your around your upbringing, not the people you've been brought up around, not the friends you've been brought up around, not the situations you were involved in that you were around. You move. You move location. You start to pick up different information from different people around the world. YouTube's probably the best place on earth for that. Plus in real life, in a different community, around different people, you pick up on different things, different habits. You allow yourself to grow. You let go of the old shit. These types of things are going to happen to every single person. Who has a purpose. Your life is far from over brother. Far from over. My life far from over. Only getting started. The new you has to be born. So the old person. Can be where it was at. But you're not there no more. You're the new person. That's the past. That's in the old. It's dog water. Not important. That was your past, that was your life a long time ago. You have a new life, you're a new person, thinking new things, doing new things, becoming a new, better person. That's what it's all about. And through this journey, you're gonna find purpose. Through this journey, you're gonna find new people. If you pay attention to life, Nothing stays the same, man. Everything change when you change. Everything. This is why it's hard for chosen ones to be stuck in one place. Around the same people. Having the same friends since, since childhood. It's just not going to happen. That's not your life. I know some people in those situations, bro. That I knew since pretty well childhood. They're still... They're just like older versions of their younger self and not in a good way. You're always going to be you. But some people obviously grow more than others. Some people just, they're still stuck in the same place they've always lived in. Like the same community, quite literally. Having the same friends as they get older. And you can, you can do that, but you're not chosen. You're not going to reach certain levels. You probably could. And that's just not some people's calling. That's okay for them. But for yourself, for a chosen one, it ain't going to go that way. 
you're going to move location. You're going to meet new people. You're going to become a different person. You're going to find a greater purpose and a greater calling because that's what God has in store for yourself. This is what it takes to be chosen. It ain't going to be the same forever. Things change all the time. Even in a couple of years time, there's massive changes. There's like these chapters of your life and it's always changing. That's how it's been for me since ever, bro. I've never kept all of my friends ever. Elementary, I had certain friends. When I got to junior high, I had certain friends. When I got to high school, I had certain friends. When I got out of high school, that came to an end. And it just kept going and going and going and going and going and going and going. That's how it's been for me. Because I wasn't put on earth to be still. I wasn't put on earth to keep the exact same people around me forever. It's because you have a high calling. You have a high ceiling. You have great purpose. And those people that was in your life would be a detriment to your purpose. Not that they're even bad people. A lot of these people are not even bad people. It just don't fit in your life anymore and that's okay. Men and women get together and they break up. That's okay. It's not meant to be. If it was meant to be, it would be. There's literally a reason for everything, folks. There's a reason for literally everything. Like people... Bro, a lot of you guys are in better positions than you think. Sometimes things might get hard and you might not think so. And you might think, oh my God, look at all these people, all these friends and their friends groups and everything else, bro. They're so lost. They're so purposeless. They're so dependent on their few friends. What what happens when their few friends veer off? <laughs> what happens then? Now they have now they don't have that. They don't have purpose. They don't have a hope in hell. They don't have any ambition. They're at literally rock bottom and below. That's awful. Like that, that's awful. That's going to be a hell of a journey to, to come, to come, to overcome. So a lot of you, bro, you can't overthink your life. You can't overthink certain positions that you're in. You have to allow yourself to grow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't think about what other people are doing. Don't think about... The friends you no longer have. There's always better things coming as long as you're moving forward. The last thing you want is to be stuck in the past. That's the last thing you want. Or to, to just desperately hold on to your few friends or desperately trying to make plans with friends. Bro, if things ain't happen naturally, if things are not happening naturally, if you can't hang out with your friends effortlessly, like be in close contact with family effortlessly and it's not toxic, be with that girl kind of effortlessly is <laughs> complicated as females be sometimes. That it's not meant to be. The, the worst thing you can do is try to just try so hard to make it work and everything else and just no. That's the worst shit you could do. The best thing to do in these situations is literally let go and keep the ball rolling, keep moving forward all the time. It might not seem it might seem like, oh my god, my life is going by and I'm moving forward, yeah, but what about everything else? What about friends? What about the girls? What about the guys? What about family? What about this? What about that? As long as you're moving forward, bro, you're becoming the man or woman you're supposed to be. That's what's important. That's what's actually going to authentically attract the people that's actually supposed to be in your life and stay, which will be a very few people. Maybe your future wife, maybe your future husband, maybe your, I don't know. 
that's that's a that's one person bro and for as far as your friends you'd be lucky to even keep one friend a entire lifetime because if you check out the patterns of your past if you're a chosen one I guarantee you you've had different friends at every little minor change of your life different schools different friends and even the, even the schools I was in bro a lot of the people that I was in school with transferred the exact same the exact same time with me to a different school so those people I was friends with was still in this different school but I met even other people and I was like not as good as friends with the people I used to be friends with and made better friends and you transfer to another school after junior high to high school and it's the exact same thing like you might still be cool a little bit with those past people but it's like you're, you're not close friends no more that's what it'd be like bro like your whole life that's what it's going to be like. So take things as they are. I enjoy that things are this way. I wouldn't, bro. You wouldn't want to be the same person being codependent around the same friends you knew your whole life. You wouldn't even want that yourself. But people that ain't going to make a big change, bro, and step into their calling and who they actually are that's what it's going to be for them that's what it's going to be for them that ain't what you want and like i said it's not that you don't have friends because you're not charismatic not likable not nothing like that it's because of the changes you've made and the the changes the people around you was not willing to make you become a different person. You're no longer the person that they once even knew. You're changing. That makes them uncomfortable. You're no longer the person that aligned with them. You're different now. And that's okay. You don't have to have a hatred for them. They don't have to have a hatred for you. Sometimes things get a little ugly. That's okay too. It's about having a solid understanding of all these types of things and I don't want people like bro the biggest reason why I'm making this video is because I don't want people overthinking their own life and like certain situations you might find yourself in it's a bit tough when you're young especially let's say 19 to like 24 ish it's tougher because it's like things are changing you're not used to what things are much different much harder than it's ever been it's understandable then, but like, bro, to be older than that overthinking, it's like, you should be experienced enough by then to understand the patterns of life and how things are. Like, even when I was younger, bro, I didn't take it well losing people I didn't want to lose. Because I was growing and they weren't. I was like, bro, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm trying to get people to come with me. And it's just like, I struggled with that when I was younger. Because you don't want to lose people, but you also don't want to stay stuck. So it's this hard transition. And that's something you just have to work through. You literally have to leave people behind, bro. Like that's just what life is. Cause not everyone is going to want to go where you're going. And you know, deep in your heart, you're doing the right thing. And they might even be doing the right thing for themselves. That might be their life. Their, their calling is to just be that average-ish person who grew up in their hometown, stayed in their hometown, around the same people they always knew, being friends with the exact same people they always knew, getting fat, having a family, and just, yeah. That's their life. That's their calling. That's not your calling. That's not the way your life is supposed to pan out. So yours is going to be drastically different than theirs. The best thing you can do, the best thing these types of people can do, people from your past, is understand you. And you understand them. It's easy for us to understand them. It's not easy for them to understand us from what I've experienced and what I've learned so far. And you know why? Because we have a higher calling. 
a lot of people be jealous, bro. That's just how it be. Because they know we're going to go on and live probably just a higher life. Like with more abundance, more achievement, more success, probably better times. And they're just more stuck, more still, more codependent. Doesn't even make them bad people. That's just what they are. And that's just not what we are. Chosen ones are supposed to constantly be moving forward. Constantly making changes. Nothing stays the same. Everything changed with time, brother. Everything. So this is why as a chosen one, you're going to find yourself not having many dependable friends, dependable family members. Things change. When you fully step into who you are, you're going to piss off the most amount of people. Because most people is stuck being that person that's dependable on others. Bro, some of your damn family want you to be dependable on them so they can keep some sort of attachment to yourself. Not knowing how healthy the attachment could be if you're independent, they're obviously independent. And then you come together and realize there's still loyalty there. You're going to find the best connection with your own family when things are that way. The reason why things get messy with friends sometimes is because they're comparing themselves to you. And if you're more successful than your friends, like significantly more successful, they're not going to be comfortable. They're going to feel like failures. They're not even going to want to come over to your home. They're not going to want to hang out with you. They're not going to want to drive in your new car, like whatever it might be. And that's because you move forward in life with a sense of urgency in a way they just have not. Makes sense, right? And this is exactly why chosen ones have a hard time with friends and family in life because we're just not the same, bro. Like people that have a high calling for the thousandth time are just, they, they just move different. We just move different. Like we're not stuck people. We're always trying to get better. We're always trying to evolve. We're always trying to get to the next steps because we're not done. Our lives ain't done. Who we are right now won't even exist as more time goes on, bro. We're going to be different. We're going to be better. That's what scares people who's more stuck in life. Because we have a high ceiling. We have a high calling. And they don't. And that's okay. We understand them. We respect who they are and who they want to be. They have a hard time doing the same for us. This is what causes a lot of turmoil. A lot of confusion. To the point where y'all are separated now. And it just so happens to be. Chosen ones get hated on the most, misunderstood the most, everything the most. <laughs> chosen ones get blessed the most. The most is going to happen to the chosen ones. Just understand that. And with that being said, that's pretty much it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this take. Don't overthink your life. Don't overthink certain situations you find yourself in. Literally everything is happening on time. It's happening for a reason. And it's happening for a purpose. That's all.